back to Furious Pretoria. Uh, let's talk to Candlestick. Ackery, ackery, my old friend. You've come to get the skinny on those new bone polishers running around muck in the uh, pronunciate, aren't you? What? I'm here to ask you about the weekend. That's what I said, isn't it? Look, uh, m my coins are on it all. Been me and a con these weekend. Uh, they're seers of sort, and the seer network is one of the biggest cons of all. Look, just spit it out, you freak. Okay, I don't want to say that, but... Uh, hey now, girly, don't cut yourself with that tongue, hear me? Right rude you are. Now listen, the psychics of the carnival, including yours truly, we're not even about to dare fate by probing the thoughts of the awakened. It could become a two-way street, and I like my mind right where it, where it sits, you know? See, it's a serious business, and these whack jobs are off the leash. The most famous of the seers that got away from the network is Katie Douglas. Maybe you already know her. A celebrity she is? Well, to some folks, anyhow. Candlestick, I want to apologize for my outburst. <laughs> yeah. It's all right, lass. Don't fret. All, all of us first get the sh get the shout sometimes, and just yell a fool. The gumbo can get to you, baby. You know? Uh... Thanks. Where can I find Katie Douglas? For a jailbird that wants to stay off the grid, Katie Douglas doesn't exactly take great pains to hide her whereabouts. Scuttlebutts, uh, she and a few seers she's rescued from the network have holed up in Office 130, 138, 1381. The name of said domicile is both an inside joke and a dare to anyone cool side that might be thinking of coming after her. Look for Katie Douglas there. Me want she's not too fond of the compound and wants zero to do with the carnival. That said, if you need an expert on Sears and the skinny on the awakened, Katie's your best bet. I'll find her. Dun 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 I'm not taking a picture of her for this. I took a picture of Candlestick. Because, gee, I wonder who my contact after Noble Savage is. <laughs> Alright. more water. Judging by the derezzed bodies of ex seers during the hall, someone else got here before you. And you can sense it's the apparitions. Fantastic. Wow, look at all those objectives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll read that clue in a minute. Hey. Bugger off. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Piggyback. You're hearing the surgeon's voice in your head. Actually, you're hearing too. The voice of the now dead former deceased Dr. Jonas Fletcher. Wait, 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 wait. Office 1381. He spoke to Candlestick, a high-powered psychic in Carnival. He and his fellow psychics feared the monstrosities, refusing to probe the personosphere. Too deep to probe the... Uh, uh, one problem. Katie Douglas wants nothing to do with the compound. Yeah, 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 but... Wait. Okay, well, all of this is... Stuff I already know. Two banquets of envious apparitions using dust hosts to eat. Secure the mind of Katie Douglas for your own. 
if you hadn't looked at my objectives, uh, and maybe, maybe you should look at me. There's something a little off here. Oh shoot, that's a boss. Hold on. I gotta take this guy down first. Whoops. I the wrong thing. Got him. Turn that back on. Alright, you. Whew. I don't like that. Give me the badge, but also... Uh... Nothing up here. Okay. Well, feast on remaining apparitions using dust in vain. Oh my god. Alright, guys. Um, there's something wrong here. You jerk. Well, this is bad. Okay, hold on. I gotta run. Come on, come on, run, run. No, get off the thing, thank you. I do not have a choice. They are, yep, they're still chasing me, ow. I hate the fact that these guys are just a little OP. They go from lieutenants to bosses. It's the reason I don't like fighting red caps. It's because of that same situation. Okay. I go back in, they'll be almost right at the door, so that's fine. Okay, let's go in. Oh, not at the door. Okay. I hate that. Yeah. They're not easy. Okay. This, this. Got him. Okay. Whew. All right, the secure. Katie Douglas is near. Let's go. I, who the frick are you talking to? Severing the telepathic tendon now. Her body will guarantee me tenure. What the heck? Huh? What? What is going on? Rescue Katie Douglas. Uh, sure. I mean, look at all those poor cedars. Okay, fortunately, we're almost there. Here. Nope. 
Nope. No running. Boop. Alright. Whew. That was really loud. Come on. Oh no. No, I don't want to target her. Stop targeting Katie Douglas. Whew. Okay. Alright, Katie. And just what do you want? Wait up. Do I know you from somewhere? You should. I helped you and your seers escape from Prater Tillman, remember? Escape? from Predator Tillman. What are you talking about? Uh, I, I did that all on my own. Didn't I? Which time are we talking about? Katie looks strangely confused as if trying to recollect, to recollect the memories that are no longer exist for her or conflicting ones that are overlapping in her mind too fast. Calm down. It doesn't matter. But now I just need your help. Okay. Help you? After you bring apparitions into my house and they de my sisters. You, you know what you've done? I had no idea the apparitions were after you until I arrived. Katie Douglas scans your mind. You're telling the truth, but you, you had some idea they might be. Wait, you had one inside you? Or was it two? Oh, and I guess that string of confusion I'm now reading in your head is what you call an excuse. Yeah, so that's so not going to work with me. Wait, can you hear that? More coming. <sighs> so no more excuses. Get ready. <laughs> You're going to owe me for this one. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Where? Katie, come on. Okay, Drezzer, your mind says you're here about the awakened. What do they have to do with the apparitions everywhere? That's what I was hoping you could tell me. Fine, I'll help you out. It looks like you've been trying to figure out the connection between the apparitions and the awakened for a while, and I see that you've been doing some good for First Ward along the way. Things are going to get ugly before we reach the end of this road. But let's be clear, I won't forget what was done to my sisters, and I will always associate it with you. Yeah, kinda sucks. Go back and tell Noble Savage that I'm on board. I'll be in touch after that. It's a deal. Yeah, it kinda sucks that you're not given an opportunity to get away from that line, but it, you, you get possessed. There's nothing you could really do about it. It sucks. Alright. Ding! Well done, Eve. Katie Douglas was something of a legend in Pretoria proper. If anyone can help us get to the bottom of the Awakened and how dust fell so easily to her, their power, she's our best bet. Watch yourself around here, though. She's got a personal agenda that doesn't always play nice with others. Let me know when you're ready to meet up with Katie again. Introduce a new contact, and we'll start that next time. I'll see you guys in the near future. Oh, and by the way, if you spend time off, logged off in the compound, 24 hours this, that she has, you get survivalist. There's another one for First Ward too, so I'm going to log here, because you get one, if you look up here, at the yellow day job scavenger. So, yeah. I'll get another badge if I log off enough here in First Ward. See you guys in the near future, and thank you for watching.